Things. Ah, uh, we are live. Let's see here. Just gonna hold on a second. Greetings, good evening. Good afternoon. Hey, hello. I wanna holler at you for a moment. I wanna uh, thank God for live. I wanna share something with you. I wanna talk to you just for a second. I wanna share my heart. Hey, family. I share my heart with each of you. Um, listen, uh, for those of you who have been anywhere around the internet or around your television, or um, quite frankly, if you have a pulse, <clears throat> with all due respect, you probably are aware that the verdict in the George Floyd case just came back in. And uh, thank God, uh, Brother uh, Chauvin was uh, convicted on all of the charges that he was charged for. Um, shout out to the district attorney, shout out to all those who uh, testified and the entire village uh, who were part of um, justice in this instant being served. Um, I gotta tell you, it was bittersweet for me. I was trying to process what I was feeling. Uh, I was actually taking my motorcycle out for a ride. I'm taking a break from riding and, and I got out on my motorcycle and I just felt like, man, I need to get off this motorcycle and really try to understand because why am I like not overwhelmingly happy um, about this? I, I, I am thankful to God uh, for the outcome, but I was just trying to figure out like why, why does it feel bittersweet to me? Um, and as I dug into it a little bit, um, the reason why it feels a bit bittersweet to me is that like, I, I, I'm, I'm a little tired of of jumping up and down for something that should have been ours all along. Um, and what I mean by that is that right is right. And why, why do we have to act like we receive something when the only thing that happened was that right was acknowledged? And I think that it, it really scratched at um, quite frankly, I think a, a trauma, to be honest with you, a trauma that's, you know, deep down within me and, and, and other people of color and perhaps other people who are, you know, uh, you know, marginalized in one way or another. But it just, uh, I'm grateful for the verdict. I'm grateful for prayerfully the sense of closure, closure that, you know, George Floyd's family um, will be able to, 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 to have another, you know, opportunity, another opportunity for some closure. But I, I just, I don't know, man, if, if I, if I sell my car and we agree on a price that is fair and I get the check that we agreed upon, I'm not rejoicing over the fact that what we agreed upon, this 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 thing happened. It, you didn't do anything for me. <laughs> I had something. We did an exchange, and I just uh, I know people are excited, and I know they're excited because um, you know prayerfully it it looks like a step in the right direction. But the reality of it is, I think that if you are if you just so happen to be like me, and you're not doing backflips. Uh, you know, you're 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 thankful, thank God that it, it happened this way, but you also recognize that there are a lot of people who haven't received justice. There are a lot of um you know people who have not been held accountable for their actions and uh, it just feels like <laughs> you know, just um you know, it just it doesn't I I don't feel the way I thought I would feel. 
And I think it's because there's so much more work to do. Um, this is not me being ungrateful. This is just, I think, me sharing with you, my community, my tribe, my village, that there's a long way to go. And if you're like me and you feel like you're, you're, you're happy it, it happened, but you feel like something is missing, I think that, uh, I think we've got a long way to go. And, um, and I think that, that justice is fair. It's not a gift. <laughs> it's, it's, it should be the norm. And uh, so my prayer is that, um, that George Floyd's family can heal. I pray that this would be uh, the beginning of some breakthrough concerning the trauma that, that many marginalized communities um, have, uh, have, have suffered, uh, that this would be uh, you know, the beginning of some sort of healing with regards to that. And uh, and maybe I'll wake up in the morning and, and have, you know, a greater hallelujah than I have right now. Um, shout out to those who lift up their voices um, against injustice. Um, I'm not quite sure it's a win, to be honest with you. I just think it's right. And um, maybe, you know, I guess that begs the question, what would a win be? Um, I, I think a win would be widespread and radical um, transformation. <laughs> Maybe the ultimate win will be his kingdom come. Um, as the word says, as the increase of his kingdom and justice, there will be no end. Anyway, love you. I just wanted to come on and holler at you for a second, let you know what was in my head. I'm grateful, um, but I also know that, you know, there, we, we didn't win nothing. You know, the, the the justice prevailed, and um, as justice is supposed to, that's what justice is for. It's it's to prevail. Uh, I just pray that we would see justice uh, continue to march on. I pray that we would see hate uh, continuously be driven back, and uh, and I and I pray that that the trauma that's underneath all of the, the expression that, you, that we see and sometimes criticize would begin to heal in Jesus' name. Um, yeah, that, that's my heart. Hey, I'm just going to, while you guys were commenting, I, didn't even, I missed all of that. Um, okay. Yeah, Reedy 77A says, but I'm happy about this case. I, I am too, brother. Somebody said a win would be unity in the community. Absolutely. Absolutely. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, family. I love you. God bless you. Um, grateful that justice was served today. Uh, but let's continue to, to call out every injustice and to hold people accountable. All right. Love you. God bless you. Hey, Pastor Stefan. Catch you later. Our work is not done. That's right. We're just getting started. Okay.